Here's a fun book that I wanted to share with you and some of our sweetest stuffies. Edgy, oh, hi Edgy. Husky and Sealy. They all wanted to come say hi too. Okay, stay awake for the story, Hedgy. Okay, it's called Harriet, You'll Drive Me Wild, written by Mem Fox. In this story, Harriet is a pesky child, and Harriet's mother can lose her temper sometimes, but Harriet doesn't mean to be pesky, and her mother never means to be mean. But Harriet and her mother always know that no matter what, they love each other. And it reminds me of times I've had with my mother or father, and I wonder if it'll remind you of those too. Now, when I read the story this time, I'm going to show it first to the stuffies and then to you, okay? Harriet, you'll drive me wild. Harriet Harris was a pesky child. She didn't mean to be. She just was. One morning at breakfast, she knocked over a glass of juice. Oops. Just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child. I'm sorry, said Harriet. And she was. At snack time, she dribbled jam all over her jeans. Just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child, Harriet, you'll drive me wild. I'm sorry, said Harriet, and she was. Before lunch, when Harriet was painting a picture, she dripped paint onto the carpet, just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child, Harriet, you'll drive me wild. Harriet, sweetheart, what will we do? Oh, I'm sorry, said Harriet, and she was. At lunch, Harriet slid off her chair and the tablecloth came with her, just like that. Her mother didn't like to yell, so instead she said, Harriet, my darling child, Harriet, you'll drive me wild. Harriet, sweetheart, what are we to do? Harriet Harris, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry, said Harriet, and she was. Later that afternoon, when Harriet was meant to be napping, she ripped open a pillow just like that. A thousand feathers flew in every direction. There was a terrible silence. Uh-oh, I wonder what's going to happen next. Do you think her mother's going to yell at her or talk to her about it, I wonder? Oh, then Harriet's mother began to yell. She yelled and she yelled and she yelled. Oh no. I'm sorry, Harriet cried. I'm really, really sorry. Her mother took a deep breath. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's try that. I know you are, she said, hugging Harriet tight. I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have yelled, and I wish I hadn't. But sometimes it happens, just like that. Big mess, said Harriet. A very big mess, said her mother. 
and they started to laugh. Oh, good. They're both starting to feel better. And they laughed and laughed and laughed and went on laughing as they picked up feathers together. Kenji, have you ever spilled something before? Oh, I have. And Celie, have you ever made a mess when you didn't mean to? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've done that too. And I think in the end, after deep breaths, laughing it off is the best medicine. Miss you kiddos so much. Thanks for listening.